Hi guys, my name is Rudy Rio from Lucky Duck Entertainment. I have a backpack idea that I'd like to share with you guys, but first I want to give some credit where it's due for the inspiration for it. Uh, Scott Tripp and Sam Kermines put out a collection called 12, which you can find at balloonanimals.com. I'll put a link below. Um, also, David Brennian from Nifty Balloons uh, has a helicopter backpack, which I believe you can also get at balloonanimals.com. Again, I'll put the link down below. Um, and I want to send a special thanks out to Juan Gonzalez, who recently released a collection of monsters uh, on YouTube, uh, YouTube clips. Uh, after a little bit of pestering from me, I managed to convince him, uh, with the help of the community, to release them for everybody to share. So uh, after you're done watching this video, make sure you check out 12 Nifty Balloons and Juan Gonzalez's monsters. Uh, I'm just giving this to you guys, no charge, um, but if you would like to, to make a donation to help out for future projects, I'll, I'll include a PayPal link below. Um, so without any further ado, let me get started. The video I have today, or the design I have today, is a backpack, which is a multi-arm backpack. If you use your imagination and change the colors up, it'll probably look like a villain people might be familiar with. Um, I'm going to start off with a 646 and give myself about two hands length uh, of tail. Uh, you don't need too much. You're actually going to give yourself a couple of pinch twists, which is going to fill out the balloon for you. Also make it soft. You're going to start with a pinch twist at the top. to give you an anchor point for the back. If you want it, you could mess around with different sizes, maybe starting off with a 350 instead. Um, I think just for size purposes, the 646 looks really good. Um, give yourself about two hands length uh, with thumb should be good. And you're going to give yourself two more pinch twists up at the end. If you only have a small little bubble like this, you could leave it, um, maneuver it down to the bottom, it's up to you. Uh, if you have more or less, you could pop it. Uh, I think for right now, for video purposes, I'm going to leave it. Uh, and that's the base. This is going to be what goes up against uh, the back and where everything else is attached to. So I'm going to put this off to the side for just a second. The next piece I'm going to use is a yellow 350. I'm going to give myself about a hand's length of tail at the end. And you're going to start off the same way. You're going to give two pinch twists at the top. This is going to be much easier with a 350 or 260 than it is with a 636. And this is going to attach with the leftover tail to the base here, like so. Uh, there's one other part to this arm, and then I have a way to speed up the rest for you. You're going to use just a latex glove. You can pick them up at Walmart or possibly through Qualitex. Blow it up as big as you would like. Um, if you blow it up too big, it looks kind of silly. Um, it's up to you, whatever your preference is. And then with the tail left here, I'll hold it up against the shirt so you can see, you're going to attach that to the two pinch twists. Like so. See him wave? Now, to speed this up, I have pre-made 
some of the other arms and I'm just going to attach those the same way I did the first one. Hopefully now you're starting to see the fun that this can be. And attach to the bottom as well. That one I'm going to put on the floor for a minute. And magically, rise balloon, rise! Perfect. Never mind the child under the table. For any of you that were at the Coney Island Jam last week, uh, that was my son Duck. They're helping me today. And here is the bottom part and the top part. Now, connecting the backpack to the body is really easy. I'm going to put this down here for a second. Just take a yellow 260 or corresponding 260 and blow it up almost all the way. I give myself a little bit of tail at the end and burp it. Stretch. Especially if it's going around uh, an adult or a teen, you want a little bit more space. And tie it into just a big loop. That loop is going to go around the first arm and tie into the back. Now the next two, never cover the star, the next two are going to be two 60s blown up relatively large and tied at both ends. Twist it in the center. And then attached to the top two twists. I will even attempt to put it on for you. Now the arms can be adjusted later if you want. And that is the backpack. I'll have a couple of still pictures hopefully posted with this or before it. Now one other idea that I had uh, actually before I made this video is if you inflate a clear 260 and attach it to the arms and give yourself just a small loop in the center you can kind of give it like a puppeteer thing where you can control it so maybe if you're doing a spider or if you want to have a little bit more control over it, just that extra balloon added to both sides can be a big help. I hope you guys have liked it. Uh, feel free to comment, share, tell me what you think, what you don't think, which would be much more difficult to say. <laughs> but I hope you guys have enjoyed it and have a good day.